The right snowblower can make the tough task of snow removal bearable, and a good one can last for 20 years or more. Consumer Reports tests dozens each year to find the best. Here's everything you need to know to find the right machine. Let's get to know the snowblower. With some basic mechanical knowledge, you'll be able to make a better decision at the store. The auger is the corkscrew-looking part that sucks up all the snow. In single-stage snowblowers, the auger does all the work, taking in the snow, then channeling it to the discharge chute. That's what shoots, blows, and throws snow out of the way. In dual-stage blowers, the auger still pulls in the snow, but gets a helping hand from this part, the impeller. The impeller helps push snow through to the discharge chute. The added help from the impeller gives you more power and efficiency when clearing, and is better for heavier jobs. You can choose between a gas engine or an electric motor model that works off a battery or a power cord. We'll help you decide which is best for you in the following sections. Choosing the right blower comes down to three main factors. How much snow you get, how big is the area you need to clear, and what's your terrain like. More snow means you'll want a blower with a larger auger. This is referred to as clearing width. Small augers are best for light snowfall under four inches. Medium-sized augers can handle more, but are best with four to eight inches. The augers with the largest clearing width help tackle up to 24 inches and are best if you have more than six inches of snow on a consistent basis. If you're only clearing a patio, walkway, or deck, a smaller blower should suffice. But when it comes to driveways, Consumer Reports recommends a dual-stage blower because they offer the most power and efficiency. We'll explain the differences when we get to the section on snowblower types. If you've got hills, slopes, or gravel, there are certain types of blowers that will handle those obstacles better. Consumer Reports says you should use only single-stage blowers with plastic scrapers on decks or porches to prevent surface damage. You should also think about plow piles. That's the big mound of snow left by the plow at the end of your driveway. You'll want a blower that can cut through those without stalling. Once you've given those factors some thought, it's time to look at the different types of snowblowers out there to see which fits your needs. First up, corded electric. While that may sound convenient, just plug in and go, the cord can limit your clearing distance and make handling tricky and dangerous if you run over the cord. Consumer Reports says it's actually easier to shovel. Also, if your power's out, so is your blower. Battery powered. With no cord or gas engine, they're light, easy to handle, and quiet. They're best for decks, porches, and walkways with four inches of snow or less. No powered wheels on these guys, so you'll do all the work propelling the machine forward. Also, that auger will pick up gravel in its way and spit it elsewhere. And if you get more than four inches of snow, expect to make several passes with this type of blower. Want more power with less effort? That's where gasoline engines come in handy. This blower is still relatively light and easy to handle and offers more power than electric motors. Again, this is a good choice for sidewalks, porches, decks, and perhaps a small driveway. They'll clear a larger area than electric blowers, but still not the best for slopes. They'll tend to pull sideways. Got a lot of ground to uncover? Two-stage or dual-stage blowers offer the best in power and efficiency. They have an impeller that speeds things along. It pulls the snow from the auger and pushes it through the chute. Plus, they have engine-driven wheels, which means you aren't doing all the pushing and hills are easier to tackle. Dual-stage blowers also have skid shoes, which act as a buffer between the bottom of the snow blower and the surface you're clearing. You can set the skid shoes higher so the auger doesn't touch the ground, making these the only blowers that can handle gravel. They're also best for dealing with the dreaded plow pile at the end of your driveway. A few brands offer a category of snow blowers they promote as three-stage models, featuring an added accelerator or impeller. Consumer Reports testing has found this design can enhance performance, particularly when it comes to blowing through plow piles. Wondering which brand to buy? We test a wide selection of snowblowers year-round. To find our complete list of ratings, go to consumerreports.org snowblowers. Snowblowers come with a lot of bonus features now to make the job easier and more comfortable. Here are some to look for when shopping. An electric start. Instead of pulling on the starter cord to start the engine, you can plug in your blower to an outlet and start it that way. A clearing tool, so you can safely clean out the chute. Never use your hand. Multiple speeds. Most dual blowers come with several speeds to prevent clogs when you're plowing through heavy snow. Single stage models have just one speed. Want to up your convenience factor? 
Think about controls. You'll be adjusting the chute often, so you want to make sure the control is comfortable for you. With the manual chute control, you stop the machine and adjust the chute yourself. Check this out in the store to see if the height works for you. However, some models come with controls you can use from the driver's seat, such as a long handle on single stage models or a joystick on dual stage blowers. Some dual stage snowblowers come with an operator controller that allows you to steer the wheels and auger with one hand and the chute with the other. Dual stage models up the ante when it comes to extra features and convenience. For example, some come with heated hand grips and headlights, but the most important feature when it comes to dual stage blowers is easy turn capability. Easy turn capability allows the outer wheel to turn faster than the inside wheel so your blower turns easier. Most commonly, it's a set of triggers you squeeze near the handle in the direction you want to turn. A snowblower won't do you any good if it won't start. Our experts have a few critical maintenance tips to make sure yours cranks right up and keeps clearing snow. Bad gas is one of the most likely culprits if your snowblower is dead. Add a stabilizer to your gasoline as soon as you get it. That way, it won't go bad while sitting in the tank through the off-season. Better still, empty the tank before you store it for the summer. Make sure your engine oil is topped off. Low oil levels can fail the engine quicker and change it every year, unless you've had winters more like Miami than Minnesota. The spark plug could also be the culprit if the blower isn't starting. If you've gone five or more years with the same spark plug, it might be time for a new one. They are easy to change and no longer need to be gapped. Also, make sure the spark plug wire is securely tightened to the plug. If it's loose, the engine might not start. Tire pressure matters. Check the air in the tires before snow season. Low air affects traction and makes it harder to maneuver the machine through the snow. Keep an eye on your shear pins. They're the pins or bolts that hold the auger to the rotating power shaft. After time, they can become corroded from road salt. If they've seen better days, change them. It's also common to lose traction control. Consumer Reports says check your owner's manual for specific instructions, but usually adjusting these cables keeps traction control in check. Do this once a year. It's always a good idea to check your manual to see if anything else in your snowblower needs extra attention. For more information and a full list of snowblower ratings, check out consumerreports.org. We purchase all products we test, are a nonprofit, and accept no advertising. Thanks for your support.